Hoops, how are you today? Welcome all watchers, cross watchers, and beloved subscribers. Let's jump into your message. Welcome, and I hope everyone's doing well. We're going to do a 10 card Celtic clarify and look at some oracle cards and see what the love messages are for you this week. Let's see. Okay. So for Leo, energy for Leo, please, Spirit, give us good, very vibrant, happy messages with clarity for the happiness and joyfulness and love for our Leos. Look at Ace of Cups. Laws of Attraction. I like a good shuffle. All right, Temperance card. You have a beautiful, awakening love affair. Temperance card. You have someone who loves you, that you return that love, and both of you want to make this work. Beautiful energy, Sagittarius and water sign energy. At the base of the reading, Leo, let's see what we have for your energy at the base. What brings you to this reading? Six of Swords, okay. So it does look like most of you have left something behind in the past. You've been in a really rough situation and you really are moving ahead. You want to heal, you want your life to be better, and you certainly want love in your life. But you've, you've done the work, so I like that. It's great energy. What do we have in the recent past for our Leo friends? For a love message, we have the King of Cups, Scorpio Energy. Somebody who loves unconditionally, but this is not a person who talks about it. We see this energy with this beautiful King. Scorpio energy, till death do us part kind of love. It's it's unconditional. It's forever. This is a person who loves in a very intense way, but is very quiet about it. This is a favorite uncle, a favorite brother, a favorite employee, someone whom, to whom everybody goes to for advice. They're very calm, very serene, and very tender-hearted. That is the energy in the recent past in your love life. Look at this, the lover's card. We have Gemini energy here. This is the energy of making a beautiful choice, being willing to have the courage and the passion to make a choice for love, to have the courage to step forward into love. It is a soulmate card. This is gorgeous. I love it. All right. So that is an outcome card for you, by the way, for those of you who do not know the Celtic. That is the best that can be achieved in this particular reading is a gorgeous energy of extreme, intense, passionate love between two people with a little Cupid tattooed on her arm. Very intense. Okay, beautiful energy. Let's see what we have for the near future. World card, beautiful. There's When we look at this world card, there is the Ouroboros. I think that's how you say it. It's a snake that eats itself. So what we see is that you're closing out a relationship in a period of time. Not a relationship. Okay. Sorry about that. You're closing out a cycle in your relationship in which you were just getting to know each other. And now you've come into this sort of circle really falling in love and now making choices to move forward in a love and that opens a new cycle after the very successful closing of this meeting and falling in love aspect of your energy leo what have you been up to i like it <laughs> the world at large is not slowing you down leo so let's see how you're feeling in this situation in terms of what you want to do, what's going on. Nine of Swords, you have some fear here. Oh, look at that. There's fear, there's regret. I feel it's related to the Six of Swords. I feel that for many of you, Leo, um, this is Gemini energy. And what it really says is that you're almost afraid to fall in love. You're fearful of it. But look, we have a beautiful dove up there. So let's see what's going on with your person, how they're, how they're feeling at this time. You both feel very vulnerable. This is vulnerable energy, just like, is, is love going to work out this time or not? Am I going to be hurt? You know, it's, a, it's very fear-based. Oh, your partner feels the same way, the moon card. The Pisces, Pisces energy is someone who feels as though 
they they feel like they're underwater it's it's there this is the feeling of a scorpio king it's the pisces energy of you know i'm afraid to go underwater i'm afraid that love will make me feel helpless you know like i'm drowning so it does look like this pain that we see here that you've had in the past is not completely healed okay your worst and best hope your your greatest fear and your greatest hope your greatest fear is what the energy is at this time you're so fearful of being left in the cold you're so fearful of being locked out of your lover's life you're fearful of being hurt you're feel fearful of being abandoned but look at this energy leo this energy is there's a big key here by this door you aren't locked out of this door. You just need to look up, look at the key, put the key right there. You have the answers. You have the key to everything you need to know to have a happy love relationship. You're a beautiful spirit. You've met another beautiful spirit, but both of you are struggling in this situation. So when we clarify the energy, we're going to also see some of why that might be the case for both of you because it does look like there's some sort of history here with the six of swords and the temperance card okay these fell of course okay so we have this energy of i'm going to turn these right side up so we see that you need to release you need to release fear that love can't work out for you you need to release this idea that everybody has a bunch of options you need to release the idea that you are going to get hung out to dry so to speak in a manner of speaking we get this queen of swords energy that makes you feel angry upset at the idea of not being treated well you're afraid that everything will go along fine and that out of the blue something will give you some news somebody will give you some news and it will hurt the relationship the nine of cups says that you do really love this person intuitively you know they're a good person but you've been hurt so many times that you just you've lost faith in love the king of pentacles energy with the queen of pentacles energy very powerful for you at this time leo i get that you really have a beautiful love relationship that can go the distance that has the power and the stamina and the depth to go the distance so let's see let's continue to see what your outcome card is before we clarify okay so for our beautiful leo friends what do we have this is leo sun moon rising and venus for those of you new to tarot and it's like a buffet table. Take what's yours, and if, it, if one card doesn't apply or the storyline is not yours, then you leave it behind like a buffet table. Take what's yours and leave the rest, okay? Your outcome card is that both of you seem to be in a situation where you can't see each other right now. So what we see here also, now that we have the outcome card, is that we see that both of you are feeling a great loss of not being together right now. The Hermit card says that both of you are contemplating very much about you know what you want. Both of you want this beautiful energy of the Hierophant. You want to come together in a traditional love relationship in which you can celebrate life and make a commitment okay so let's clarify the deck here let's see what we have the ace of cups why do we have this beautiful ace of cups what tell us more about this beautiful new love coming in this this can also be a reconciliation for two people who were separated in this particular instance i think for many of you not all of you you were not separated by choice you may have been separated by circumstances okay so let's see what we have here the temperance card is often a reconciliation okay why is the ace of cups here all right again i feel like the two of you might be at a distance from each other i feel as though the only communication you might have at this time is the internet why do we have the temperance card oh look at that that's crazy we have the six of swords so one of you left and had to go somewhere else 
and the temperance oh look oh, that's crazy look at that two different decks the same card that's i can't even make that up right you truly love each other for some reason outside of yourself you had to you had one of you had to leave and move somewhere or be somewhere alone um why is a temperance card here wow i've never seen that quite come up these are two totally different decks purchased at different times and well shuffled victory leo energy there you are in your reading leo you are going to overcome the obstacles you already have a plan in motion for what's going to happen we see this new beginning right around the corner the seven of cups okay so when we get the king of cups it does look like the king of cups has choices to make but not all of those choices are good choices so why do we have the seven of cups by the king of cups the death card okay so there was a breakup at some time at some point in this relationship it looks as though leo as though you left this person behind you left this person behind because you had to make a choice. Now, for some of you, this choice is going to be circumstantial. You know, it's like, okay, you have to leave somebody in another country or you have to, one of you has to move and go across country and the other of you has to stay and has sell a home or, you know, something like that. I mean, the storyline is, is a complicated one and there are different reasons that many of you would be separated from each other. You both, oh, look at that, the King and Queen of Cups. So I don't feel as though you were separated by choice at all. The Seven of Cups, why did it come about? So the Eight of Cups, somebody had to leave for something more fulfilling. And what was that more fulfilling item? What was that more fulfilling thing? that had to be taken into consideration following dreams, following hopes and dreams and following a path. So what this means is that somebody, say for instance, somebody was waiting for a dream job or they were waiting to go off to, to do something in a location uh, that was a long-term dream. So it does look as though, and sometimes for a new job or new economic opportunity. So it does look like this is somebody holding down the fort to go follow a passion we have four cards here of this having been a marriage and soulmates we have the you know the king and queen of pentacles and now the queen and king of cups so very interesting energy it's just uh, it's profound actually beautiful the lover's card why do we have the lover's card here for our beautiful leos this is a very intriguing reading king of cups oh my gosh the two of you oh my word the other thing that i see in the reading is that for many of you you may be from a different culture different ethnicity a different part of the world and you may be parted because of you know flight restrictions or travel restrictions um you know obviously the world is crazy right now but look at this what's coming out here the temperance card again the two of you coming back together again within six weeks so if you have been parted we have six and we have the uh this is six weeks out as a natural indicator in terms of timing on the celtic wow Oh, I need comments below, please. <laughs> I need to know the back story here. This is quite a love story. Why is the Nine of Swords here for our Leo friends? Look at this. You're healing. You're sad. You're lonely. You feel heartbroken. All right. I also feel that there are a few of you who may have lost somebody close to you. So for some of you, this is going to be literal, although the death card is typically not literal. And since we have the lover's card and the progression of the relationship moving forward, I do feel as though there may have even been a close call. You know, there may have been a close call in which there was a lot of worry and concern. But what we have here is, okay, so this came out reversed. So this is clearly not an emotional breakup. There were, there's nobody here that's doing anybody anything nefarious or you, there's no juggling. 
there's a lot of clarity even though this has been a very challenging time for you okay why do you have the five of coins releasing having to release fear having to let something go having to let go of the fear of not seeing someone again the five of cups the five of cups really tells us a great a great aspect of this story is that there's so much love here it's still here but there's this feeling of loss but you have to release it the spirit is saying you have to release it you have to release that okay you're feeling very guarded about dreams for the future look at this the crisis is now over when we have the the uh, tower card upright it's a crisis but it came out upside down the worst of it is over your crisis is over leo you're making plans for the future beautiful i'm going to look at this yes after a really tough journey after you intuitively know that you're going to be really good when you when the two of you are reunited you are back in the saddle so to speak working on your lives moving forward let's see what the spirit messages are here for you in this love relationship wow all right what are the messages from spirit for our beautiful leo friends a grace be graceful in movement and action be graceful in movement and action. All right. What else do we have? Shed old skin. All right. So shedding old habits. And that's, we have a lot of that. We have this judgment card here about releasing. It's very important to release the sport, sort of always negative, you know, the negative thinking, the feeling as though if something goes wrong that it's you know that's the end of the world by itself and that's not true wait for an import for important information and move beyond your patterns okay so i like that let's see what the moonology oracle has in terms of your advice and then we will take a look and see what part of the journey spirit wants you to understand in this circumstance because this is not a happy or easy circumstance for you, Leo. So what is it that Leo needs to know? What's the advice from Spirit for our Leo friends? Show the world the real you, full moon and Aquarius. So that really speaks to me a lot about this, this uh, source of hiding love. You know, not really showing the world. This is very much... You know, show the world that you, you know, who you are. And that's very much this beautiful Leo energy. Very much, very much of a victory in your life. Super. Oh, nice. Let's look at one more Oracle card before we close this out. Let's see what we have. The journey that Spirit wants you to, to understand. The message about your journey at the present time from Spirit breaking trail a breakthrough is at hand so if you've been in separation if you've been away from someone if you have had this sort of enforced separation and i think for many of you it is it breaking trail you're about this is about to change very very swiftly it has been a joy doing this reading for you sending you love from chicago send some back and tell me where you're from Mwah. take care bye bye leo